Welcome back to Monday Night Football. We almost forgot the big story from the world of football, which is uh, broken today, and that's that Jose Mourinho was sacked by Spurs uh, 17 months into the job and, what, six days before he was due to lead his team to the Carabao Cup final. Did it come as a surprise, Jamie, particularly around the timing of it? Yes. I, I didn't think Jose would be there next season. I think we did an analysis of Jose and his Spurs team maybe about four to six weeks ago. I, I think we were both on. And I don't think we both went as far as to say he should lose his job or he would go on at the end of the season. I think <laughs> we were both intimating that he... Was, it was just, I couldn't see light at the end of the, the tunnel, basically, for Spurs and where they were from. And I think my argument was, is winning the Carabao Cup for Spurs supporters enough to keep Jose in a job or so in terms of looking to the future. I almost thought, you keep him for the cup final. He is great in cup finals, his record, maybe one-off games. Maybe not as much now. His record's not as good. You accept that. But I think Spurs have got less chance of winning. And I actually think Pep Guardiola will be actually pleased when he sees that. Unless, the only thing I can think of is Daniel Levy, the players have gone to him and the, the feeling inside that club is that bad that they're actually, they feel like they do have more chance the players in terms of winning at, at the weekend. But, or maybe he felt if he won that cup, cup it'd make it difficult, more difficult to, to move, it on, move him on. I, I, but I, I, was, I was surprised, but I didn't think he'd be there next season. Could it be that way? Could it be that poisonous right now that, that clearly by, purely by removing Jose Mourinho, there might be a reaction from the squad? I think, obviously, when you think about the timing, um, there's three things that come to my mind. One is... Daniel ever waking up this morning thinking, this seems like a good time to do it. There's a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bury it. And then chuckling like that, stroking his cat tonight. <laughs> um, the other thing is, I don't want to let Jose win a trophy. And then there'll be a bigger problem for me at the end of the season. And I'm not going to let him have this game. And the other one would be potentially that players or someone's gone to the owners and said, it's just not quite right in there. So the three things that I'm looking at are the only three things that we can think of. There might be something else. It might just be purely results. It might be that the Manchester United performance second half and then obviously Everton on Friday night just gone were the final straw. But those three things, I think, to be fair, are things that come to mind when you think of reasons why it could have happened. And I'm, I'm generally sad about the fact that it hasn't worked because I think there were early on in the season we were sort of like, both of us said that we wanted this, this feeling that could Jose Mourinho, Jose Mourinho winning the title would be an incredible thing. Almost like Tiger Woods winning the Masters again type thing. You know what I mean? He's been a great person to have in the Premier League over what would be like 15 years now. Incredible character, personality, love him or hate him. There is always a sort of story around Jose. And to be fair, Sunday is weaker for us to watch it because obviously Pep v Jose is a big, is a big thing. Um, but it's happened and, you know. Where does that Mourinho story go next, then? I don't see Mourinho back in the Premier League. I do think we've that ship sailed. Now, I, I struggle to think of any club who would sort of take... So He's been at Spurs, so he's, he's never going to go to Arsenal. He's been at United, he's never going to go to City. Liverpool would, wouldn't have him. But would Jose go to a, a middle-of-the-table club? I just don't see Jose there. I really don't. I think it's either international football and his, and his record in one-off games or cup finals or maybe going back to the Italian league where the Italian champions this year are going to be into Milan with a manager of Conte who plays his type of football. So maybe you can get away with a little bit more in Italy, that type of football, because it, it was certainly a turn-off for Spurs supporters how they played.